Charlie Cushane here to do another fix it project. I know we've become a throw out society and when something doesn't work, get throw it away, get another one. I'm going to resist that in this project and it's this trash can, believe it or not. It actually has a sensor that you're supposed to wave your hand in front of and it opens up and then on its own closes back down again. And for several years, it's worked really good and we love it because you don't have to touch anything. It's become unreliable lately and it chews up eight double A batteries every six months. So we're going through a lot of batteries and it really kind of bothers me from the environmental standpoint that we're throwing so many batteries away. Um, it got so bad that I actually added a little handle here as you see on top. <laughs> because it was so getting so unreliable with the batteries and the contacts are starting to get corroded, which is probably some of the problem. So I'm going to take it apart, look it over and maybe buy a power supply to replace the batteries. So there's an outlet right behind it. I can just plug it in. It'll always work. So that's my plan. Let's start taking it apart and take a look. All right, just so you get a better feel. I mean, this, lid just comes off. Okay, as you can see here, there's two battery doors that come off and two battery packs that can come out. The terminals are all getting rusty, as you can see. The terminals in here are starting to get rusty. So it's totally unreliable. And I hate just keep putting batteries in, hoping it'll work. There is an on off switch, but we only turn it off when we're going away on a vacation or something. So let's uh, take this apart and look inside and maybe measure the battery, the, the, the voltages so we can decide what kind of power supply we need. First thing we have to do, take these screws out of the corners. Just you know, for this test, I put in some brand new batteries and that's what's frustrating me. These are brand new batteries and <laughs> that didn't solve the problem. Let's take a look. All right. So this is where the battery packs are. Here's a motor to open and close this door and there's a circuit board here, which I'm assuming on the other side has the sensor. It looks like the two battery packs, because the wires look like they're in parallel. So if there's four batteries in each, that should be six volts here and six volts here going to the circuit board. So let's check that. Let's do a check here on this battery pack. There's the six volts on that one. There's six volts from that one. So you can see both are given six volts. My plan is to get a six volt power supply and hook it in here and power this and see how it all works out. So stick with me. Six volt, two amp, AC-DC adapter. All right, and I want it right on the joint. The motor's right there, I can't drill there, so I have to drill somewhere like right here. Perfect. There was the wires that you remember going from here to here to the system. I took those two wires, cut them off of here, and added them to this little adapter that this plugs into. So that'll plug into that. And then we're gonna tuck everything in here. And see, this won't be able to pull out um, once we get this lid screwed on. So the next thing is, we're gonna take this whole assembly and put it on, lining up the wire hole. trick is getting all the wires in. Yeah, see, that wire didn't go in there. 
Okay, there's one. Let's put these screws in. Okay, last thing. There we go. Let's go put it on the trash can and give it a try. Here we go, here's the lid. That won't pull out. And this is gonna go right down here and plug into here. Put this on. Now let's see. Ha 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 ha. Fantastic. See if it'll close on its own. Yep. Oh, perfect. No more batteries. I love it.